Hello and welcome to an episode of Ask Kate brought to you by the Children's Tumor Foundation. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what we call segmental NF1. Um, we're also going to discuss the concept of mosaicism. So mosaicism is something that we can actually see in all types of NF, but for today's episode we're going to focus on NF type 1. I've gotten actually several questions this week. It's really interesting. I don't, I have not been asked about segmental NF in a while. And this week we had, I think, three separate inquiries about this specific topic. And so I thought it's a great time to make a video. So let's get started. We actually do have a great brochure on the CTF website for seg segmental NF1. Um, you'll find it in our resource library. And I definitely, if you have questions about this, I highly recommend this, um, this resource. It's where I'm getting most of the information that I'm gonna share with you today. So let's define uh, mosaicism. We're going to start with that, and then we'll move. In. We'll see how that connects to the concept of segmental NF1. So when we have um, the mutation that causes NF1, we think about that embryo. So we think about that that first cell, right, of sperm and um, an egg, and they come together and they make this fertilized egg. They have that the embryo. Okay? If the mutation that causes NF1 occurs at this point, then that mutation will be in every cell of the body, and that is classic NF1. If we have what we call mosaicism, then that initial embryo um, does not have any mutations. There are no, uh, no changes to the NF gene. What can happen is that as the cells start to proliferate, they start to make copies and copies and copies and copies and copies, right? We're talking about millions of copies. Uh, we can see that mutation in the NF gene happen in one copy. So if you think about it as a tree coming down like this with branches of cells, this one becomes two, these two become four, and so on. If we see that mutation somewhere in one of these branches, then we're gonna have only certain cells of the body that are affected by the NF gene, gene change. This, the earlier in that cell division process that that change happens, the higher the rate of affected cells are gonna, we're gonna see. So that's what we're talking about when we say mosaicism. So the, if this can happen, say, if somebody has um, trying to think of a, a real world example might be um, an individual who uh, develops um, you know, neurofibro cutaneous neurofibromas or a plexiform neurofibroma and a blood test for NF1 is negative. Uh, we may be able to test parts of those tumors and see the NF gene change because we aren't seeing that gene change in every cell. It can be more difficult for a blood test to confirm a diagnosis in that case. Um, so how does mosaicism connect to the idea of uh, segmental NF1? So when we see this, what we're talking about is a patient might come into the clinic and only have cafe au lait spots, uh, freckling, um, if they're a young child, um, they might have those things. As they get older, they might develop cutaneous neurofibromas on only one side of their body or even just one limb, it can even happen and have no symptoms of NF anywhere else. So only freckling on the right, only, uh, and then cafe au lait spots on that same side. So if, if the uh, skin findings of NF1 don't cross the midline, we start to think about segmental NF1. And really what that means is that there's mosaicism and that instead of those cells being a, a mixture in the body and being sort of, some are over here and some are up here and some are down here, all of those mutated cells are in one place in the body, just the right side, just the left arm, um, something that specific. So then we call it segmental NF1. Um, a lot of times in non-segmental NF1, what we do, what, where there is mosaicism, this might just appear as a, a more mild um, version of NF1. And now that doesn't mean that if you have experience as an individual, like if you've been diagnosed with NF1 and you haven't had any very serious health complications, don't hear me saying that definitely means you have mosaic NF1. Um, it's, it's complicated and it's definitely something that it, it's part of why it's so important to be seen by a medical geneticist, work with a genetic counselor, really kind of to get into the genetics of your, of your specific situation. Um, however, if we have segmental NF1, again, we're going to see a hyper-focus on, like, on one location in the body or one side of the body. So hopefully that helps to sort of um, define and differentiate what we're talking about when, we, when you hear some of those words. Hopefully this was helpful today. If you have any questions about anything I've said or if I confused you or um, inspired a, a thought in your head, please reach out to me. I love to hear from you guys. You can leave comments down below here on our YouTube station. You can email me directly. My contact information is always here with these videos. 
So I look forward to hearing from all of you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.